Good evening. Good evening and welcome to the auditorium here at Homer High School. My name is Doug Vanetten, the high school principal, and I am so excited to see a packed house for tonight's instrumental concert. Uh, for those of you, if you're still looking for a seat, when I get done welcoming everyone, if you meet me in the back, we'll find you a spot up in the front section of the balcony. Uh, we're going to have some spots for students to sit after their performances to watch the concert as well, too. In the event of an emergency, we have exits at the rear of the auditorium where you came in, the sides of the balcony, and there are exits on the side of the stage here. So we'll exit in orderly fashion. Please, if you could, if you haven't already done so, scooch in. We're going to need to use probably every seat tonight because we have such an amazing audience. What a wonderful time of year March is with music in our schools month. I love it at the high school first thing in the morning because either the band or the choir is here performing, and it's just absolutely a great way to start our day. What a great way to end our night with our instrumentalists here performing for us. And with that, I lost Mrs. Matson, but she's here somewhere, I'm sure. There's no way I can conduct this group. A lot of pressure right now. Can I have some Jeopardy music, Zach? Here she is. Fourth grade band. Good evening, everyone. My name is Michelle Madison. I teach fourth and fifth grade instrumental music at the Intermediate School. And I also conduct the beginning band, and I co-teach the advanced band, which is fifth and sixth grade. Uh, some background on some of what's going on. First of all, I am so excited to be here. The last time we had an all-district instrumental concert here on stage in the auditorium was in 2019, before COVID. So here we are. That means the kids that are seniors this year, they were freshmen. So they, we haven't had a concert on stage here since then. And so we're very excited to have the All District here on stage with everybody. Uh, beginning Band, I can give you some background on Beginning Band. All of these kids started this year. Uh, they did not know how to play their instrument before this year. And we started with how to open your case and how to play a note. It's taken a lot of reminders. Thank you, parents. It's taken a lot of duct tape and a lot of, a lot of encouragement to get to the point where we are now. But let me tell you, this fourth grade is mighty. Right? Yes. I have, I have some people that I need to thank. You'll see there are taller people that are mixed amongst everybody. So Mrs. Combs is back there helping, and Mrs. Voorhees is back helping. Uh, we had a student teacher, Mr. Forrester. He is also back there helping. And I also, every single year, I have mentors that come and help from the junior high, and they sit in between the students, and they help with everything, because when we start beginning band, we still have to learn things like how to share a music stand, and how to adjust the music stand, and where does the music stand go, and where does our music go, and how do we count a long rest, uh, so many little details. And so I thank all of those mentors. Mentors, raise your hand if you're a junior high mentor. So it takes a lot of people, a lot of encouragement, and then here we are, just wonderful. So this year's beginning band, Gallant March. Here we go.
Hello. It's so nice to see all of you here. It's been so long since we've had this concert here in March, which is kind of weird, right? But it's so nice to be here and be back together with everybody. We're just finishing getting some things and getting set up here. This is our 5-6 advance band. This is a really cool opportunity Ms. Madison and I have to work together and kind of bridge that gap from intermediate school up to junior high. It's really nice for both of us to be able to work with all of these students. It's nice for me to know the fifth graders really well that are coming in, and I know she really likes to hang on to those sixth graders an extra year too. We're really proud of these students. They've done such a great job and they've come such a long ways this year already. So we're excited to share our music here with you. So the first song here we're going to play is Cadets in Step. All right, so the next piece that we're gonna be doing um, is called Storm Chasing. And literally that's what this song is about, is those crazy people that go out and chase those storms and so forth. So we have different things that I'd like you to listen for. So you're gonna hear raindrops, and some of those raindrops are gonna be an actual rain stick that's back there. 
believe we're all set with that rain stick. And then we, we also have um, some, uh, some kiddos that are back there and they're, they're snapping their fingers to give that effect of the raindrops starting to fall at the beginning of our storm. And we start off nice and slow and relaxed. And sometimes we get a little higher, a little and so forth, where we've been able to actually talk about implied dynamics, which is a really out there term for some of them as far as, it's not written in the music, but starting to understand that music is about more than what's on the page. Um, near the end of the song, we also have a siren that you're going to hear. It's a crank siren, because again, it's a storm chaser that's out there. So that you're gonna hear a crank siren going and so forth, so our storm is gonna gradually build and build and build in excitement. The kids love this song. It's called Storm Chasing. I hope you love it.
All right, thank you for your patience here while we're getting set up with our groups. Next up, we have here the seventh and eighth grade junior high band. We're excited to play a couple of different pieces for you here. We've got lots of fun stuff we've been working on. The first piece we're gonna do is just kind of a basic fanfare. We're gonna start with some nice kind of showcase for our French horns and saxophones who are doing an awesome job on stuff. And then it kind of picks up, gets a little faster, a little more ex exciting and brings out some other sections as well. And then we'll move on to kind of a more progr programmatic piece like you heard in Storm Chasing. I'll tell you a little bit more about that before we start there. We're gonna wait just a minute here so we can get all of our fifth and sixth grade band seated up there and get them ready to go. All right, we're gonna start for you here with our first piece, which is called At the Crossroads. This is by Robert W. Smith.
there's a lot of really tricky parts to layer in there, and they did really awesome on that. And it's taken a lot of work, so I'm really, really proud of them for how well they've been able to pull this off. It takes a lot of work at home and a lot of support from all of you at home, too. So thank you for that. We really appreciate that. This next piece, I think, is a favorite for a lot of people here on stage. This is called Carpathia. This is something you may or may not have ever heard of, but the Carpathia was actually the ship that got the distress signal when the Titanic started sinking. And they were the ones that got there first and tried to save as many people as they could. So this song is kind of depicting when they're just kind of on their own journey to start, and then all of a sudden they hear the signal, and they race against time, and they're pushing their boilers to their limits to try to get there and save people. And when they get there, it's not a very good scene, but then it gets a little happier towards the end after they've saved a lot of people. So you're going to hear, we've got some kind of like ship bell kind of sounds you're going to hear back there. A lot of different sound effects, some feet stomping to kind of have that kind of chaos, some hisses because we're running the boilers over trying to get there fast enough. A lot of just really cool different things going on in this piece that I think they had a really great time with. So this was a fun one too. So this is Carpathia by William Onans.
Thank you very much. Uh, this is obviously the high school jazz band. Uh, and if you didn't recognize that, it's a version of The Incredibles. We have uh, one more piece we're going to do for you this evening. It's called Area 51. Um, I was introduced uh, to this by a friend of mine. And we have, uh, I, I may not get to, uh, to mention this later and or I may forget, but we have four people who are doing improvised solos where they're just making it up off the, off the cuff. Um, we're going to start off with Nick Crewman, Orion Bennett on trombone, Oliver Keita on tenor sax, and Morgan Rabadou on trumpet. Uh, enjoy Area 51.
right, if you didn't catch my name earlier when Michelle Madison introduced me, my name is Sam Forrester. I have had the privilege of being a student teacher here in the Homer District. This is my eighth week here. I started four weeks with those incredible little ones, those fourth, fifth, and sixth graders that uh, Michelle and Grace started us off with. Hello. Uh, <laughs> shouldn't have done that. And I just want to say a few thank yous. It has been absolutely fantastic to be working with Michelle and Dave. They are brilliant people who we are all lucky are creating this amazing Homer music program. And the kids have been incredible the past few weeks. I just want to say thank you to them and to my cooperating teachers, to all of you for coming tonight. Thank you so much. This is Serenade for a Picket Fence. All right, so this is going to close our evening for tonight. We have one more piece. Um, 
I, I kind of thought of this a while ago when I find, uh, found out that the junior high was doing Wizard of Oz. If you didn't see that, it was a tremendous uh, show. They did such a good job at the junior high with that show. And yes, absolutely. But uh, before the evening is out, I wanted to say thank you to a lot of people that made this happen. Um, be, me, myself, being a band director, I don't have always a, a good grasp of some of the logistics of things. So I really wanted to give uh, an extra big hand to all of our administration tonight, helping with the seating, uh, which was, uh, you know, <laughs> it was really problematic. So um, programs and just, just our overall uh, support throughout the entire year. Um, I also want to thank our entire staff at uh, in the Homer District, including the maintenance staff, our teachers and maintenance staff. I know if you know uh, Justin, who works here at the high school, he spent pretty much the whole morning cleaning the auditorium for us tonight, and he will probably be here again all morning tomorrow cleaning it up again. So, yes. <laughs> Um, I also want to give a, a big thank you to our sound and lighting person, Zach Sovacool, up in the light booth. Thanks, Zach. And uh, how about an extra big applause for all of the kids that performed tonight, especially the fourth graders, their fourth, first concert. And of course, uh, you the parents. Um, I, I'm hoping you can see um, one of the main reasons for this concert, uh, and we always have it during Music in Our Schools Month, is so you can see the progression from the littlest kid up to the tallest kid. And uh, it's, it's really quite amazing what they can do in just a few short years. So hopefully they will all stick with it, and I will hopefully see them here at the high school very soon. Uh, we're going to end one more right. Oh, I want to actually give a really big thank you to Mr. Forrester, who's uh, been great to have. I, <laughs> I'm not intimidated at all by somebody with more facial hair than myself, so that's good. So, um, yes, we're going to end our program tonight with Wizard of Oz. If you like what you heard tonight, there's a whole big fat list of concerts on your, on your program. Please uh, consider coming to all of them if you can. If uh, you like the high school stuff, come to the high school concert, even if you don't have a kid in high school or vice versa. Plenty of high school parents can come down and, and hear the fourth graders. It would be great. So hopefully we'll see you throughout the spring. And uh, we're going to end our program with Wizard of Oz. Thank you for coming tonight.